so welcome back. Um, full disclosure, this should have been episode 16 of uh, Mountain Blade Warband. This is going to end up being episode 4 of Mountain Blade Warband. And the reason for that being that I made a grievous error. I didn't check to see if the videos through open broadcast software were dropping frames. And in a lot of the latest playthroughs, to include the Tropical 5 playthrough, there's a lot of frames that are being dropped. And thus, you get the choppy video, yada, yada, yada. So, I hope that now we've satisfied that problem. With that being said, we are uh, far, far ahead of where we were, episode 3, uh, with 24 guys. As a matter of fact, it ends up that um, I got waxed <laughs> two more times, um, but we made a comeback. Then the Kingdom of the Vigars fought the Swadians and started taking a lot of their land, to which we were running around with 65 guys. Um, that being because my charisma wasn't high enough to make my leadership high enough, and I'll show you that when I get in the game, so that Scruff McGrufferton could have a larger army. In so doing, we ended up uh, manipulating the game mechanics as far as economy goes and uh, ferrying goods back and forth uh around the the kingdom to make money and this is was to our benefit so um after doing that we made a lot of money and we ran into count meter show there was a lot of situations where we started running away from battles a lot and that really hurts your renown and prestige a lot of the counts in the vigar uh area were you know hey you're running away blah blah, blah. you have no honor and things like that let me start the clock sorry and uh, so we had to fix that by fighting a count worth fighting, right? So we fought Count Mershow, and that was by accident because we were running away. We actually wanted to get Boyer Vlan to fight with us, but Boyer Vlan ran away uh, because Mershow was too far from him. We were in the middle, so what ended up happening is we got caught. Mershow had 70, 60 guys. We had 70 guys. Mershow's men were... Um, better suited to fight us. He had Swedish men at arms. He had a bunch of superior troops, but because of the fr the military prowess of Scruff McRufferton, all was not lost. So we were able to save the day and save ourselves from ourselves. We then ran past one of the Kurgit Knate ca uh, castles of Rindy. Um, and Rindy had 52 men garrisoning the castle, so we thought, this would be a good place to begin our campaign as far as our own kingdom in Calradia. Um, I'm looking at OBS right now, and we have no dropped frames. So let's go ahead and open up the game and see what we can do uh, without getting frame rate drops. So let's uh, move around. We're in R Ravideen because we wanted to... Um, yeah, it looks good. We're not getting any frame rate drops, and we're not getting the encoding error so that's good we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna play from here okay so looking around last time you saw us a lot of these areas were looted well as you can see now the area is not looted any longer Aike is open not to mention the fact that I can have 73 guys we hired another man called Lizalit who ended up telling us a lot of good things about one of the, the, the strongest characters I'm sorry the strongest people in the game as far as the best horsemen are in the Serenid Sultanate, the um, the best archers are from the Vigars, the the best pikemen are from the Rodox, so on and so forth. Uh, the best crossbowmen are from the Nords. The Swedian knights are far superior to any other knight you can get. Things like that. So we started to try to ensure that our army makeup, uh, if, I, if I can call it that, kind of resembled what he said. So we have quite a few Vigar archers and marksmen. Seven is quite a few for us, at least. Five Swedian man-at-arms. We should have some Swedian knights, as we do. We are funneling the footmen into... the Swedian footmen into... Um, where is it? The Swedian man-at-arms. So footmen, yeah. Into the Swedian man-at-arms, which turn into Swedian knights. We ran into a situation where, because we're because we are a mercenary of the Vigars, we are having a hard time recruiting in Vigar areas. So I'm sorry, 
we were having a hard time recruiting in Sweden areas because the Vigars are at war with Swedia. So um, to keep our troop numbers high, we decided to go back to the kingdom of the Vigars and recruit Vigar men. Therefore, we have Vigar knights. Now, I know I said Swedian knights are far superior to any other knight in the game, but I have a soft spot in my heart to Vigar knights. Uh, Vigar knights are far and away a superior a superior mounted um a superior mounted uh soldier form so the vigar knights i i have a, i'm yeah i just i yeah i'm not <laughs> i just love them we upped our prisoner management we also um lost forentis when we were i'm sorry we lost forentis when we were captured by the looters I'm sorry, by the Sea Raiders. We got him back, and now we're we're on our way. So let's just start from here. We might not run into any crazy things happening. This might be where the stream gets really interesting. The other times it was just grinding and all that kind of stuff. My goal is that um, when the stream is complete, I want to start in every capital, and then I want to go back and I want to play as a woman and as other characters. So this is not the only Mountain Blade stream that you'll see, and it won't be the only Mountain Blade stream that I'll do. Um, it just, it's just unfortunate that we lost so much gameplay, but let's go ahead and make up for lost time, and let's go and look at the two layers that that are up and running, and let's see if we can get close to one of the castles so you can see how I know how many troops are there, and so on and so forth. The other thing you can see is that we have... Um, I was able to up the shaders because the in the game itself. Oh, Lee's Elite also trains our troops very well. So if we have recruits, they will definitely be upgraded. That wasn't a recruit, so I upgraded the video graphics to the highest possible frame rate. I'm sorry, to the highest possible um, video setting. So we're we're getting some really good video rendering in the game. I will tell you that it's a little unfortunate. I had to tell Open Broadcast Software to be the highest CPU cycle. Um, I'm probably going to start playing on my desktop rather than my laptop. This laptop doesn't have a video card, and that's taking away from the gameplay. I'm probably going to find a way... Ooh, deserters. And where are they going? I'm probably going to try to find a way to get it hooked up to where I can actually record on it. It does have a video card, and that would be a lot easier on the frame rates. Yep, let's help him out. 28, 3.1. We're not going to catch him. Oh, this is good news. Let's go this direction then. Let's check our food stores really fast. OMG. Well, that's not good. I have a truckload of money, so that's good. That is good. Um, let's make our way over here. And let's eat on this Sea Raider buffet that seems to be wreaking havoc over here near Beluga Castle. That's actually kind of funny. Alright, so this is really not a exploit. I wouldn't call it an exploit. It's more of a strategy, I guess. But I'm we're going to pitch a tent over here near the Sea Raider landing and see if we can catch some of these... Uh, sea Raiders unawares, because I know we're not going to catch them by running after them, that's for sure. So, let's come over here, let's pop a squat. Let's upgrade our troops. Vigar Footman, you will now become... How many Vigar Archers do I have? Yeah, veterans. We need the horsemen. You, Footman. Good. Sorry, I'm getting a... My phone is... It's buzzing like crazy. Okay, nothing important. All right, good to go. Let's pitch a tent. And let's wait. Ah, yes. Just what I wanted. A battle. Let's rush to the aid of the farmers. We have 120 troops. They have 15. Woohoo! I'm grinding. And let's do it. Let's do it. Sorry if it keeps stopping. That's because I'm checking to see the, the frame rates. See if the frame rates are doing well. I'm going to check one more time. And we're good. 
All right, this is good. I think we finally got our stream taken care of. And look at that. No, we got one Swadian man-at-arms. That's that's okay, I guess. It's not the best, but we'll still get what we need. And look at that. Now, I like fighting when men-at-arms fight because they like taking prisoners. Get them. Um, it just seems... Oh, God, I'm Scruff McRufferton. Got another one. I love being on horseback. You just do not understand. This Sea Raider buffet, the best. Yep. So, um, you'll find that... <sighs> I forgot what I was going to say. Let me just enjoy the battle. <sighs> Eat my axe. Eat this one-handed, two-handed wheelie axe. Oh, I did also give Lee's Elite... Not get... Yeah, I got him a horse. Because him being on horseback is actually very important. All right, cool. Let's get away from that stuff. There we go. Ha! Cut him down. Cut him down. All right. Give me one second, guys. I gotta take this call. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, somebody took my car and doesn't know how to use paddle shifters. That could be a bad thing for me. Well, it could be a worse thing for them, but... I really, really, really need my car to be okay. I know that sounds really bad, but... Yeah. Kind of need my car. <laughs> Alright. The farmers are happy. It was unfortunate to have you nearby. And let's go ahead and... Take one of these Sea Raiders. Upgrade the Skirmisher to Archers. Looks like we don't have any more... Uh, XP... I also cannot take any more individuals into my party because my party capacity is reached. It would have been nice to take this veteran. It would have been very nice, actually. But that's fine. Done. Let's go ahead and take... Oh! Well, then. So be it. That is worth. Very much so. Just upgraded my armor. Going to take all this really crappy um, goods. And I believe, hold on, we have some more people that can be upgraded. Veteran, yes. The more veterans we have, the more individuals on horseback. And the more individuals on horseback, the better we fight. Let's talk to Rudin. I am Scruff McRufferton. I am Boya Rudin. Ooh, you are really far away from, wait, no, you're not far away from home. Okay, never mind. I heard you fought and defeated Count Merchou. So, if you run away from battle or defeat somebody in battle or get caught <laughs> and imprisoned, the Counts normally say something to that effect. So, we were able to recover our renown, and we're getting positive feedback from the local lords, which is also really good. Alright, cool. He doesn't want to talk in private. Does he have any, ta any tasks? I am not going to give anybody anything. Alright, yeah. Those missions where you have to give people stuff, that's just an epic pain in the ass. No thanks. Alright, so the farmers are happy. Boyar, whatever his name was, Rubin, is happy. Let's go back, pitch a tent, and let's see if we can grab some more raiders. Looks like we will. Do not attack the hideout. I want that to live long and prosper. Alright. All right, so we got the biggest one, and so it might be that we are not given the... Oh, so here's a positive thing about being a mercenary, and I talked about this in other episodes, but I know you're not going to get to see them. I got paid $300 from the Kingdom of the Vigars to be a mercenary. Now, I haven't fought very many battles for the Vigars at all, but the battles that I have fought, they've been very grateful for. With that being said, the larger my army becomes, the more money they'll pay until I can pay my own money for my own men. Um, earlier wealth was $1,900, now I have 1300 which isn't that bad. I mean, paying $500 for the amount of men that I have is a drop in the bucket to 873 that's for sure. Oh, wow, there's a lot of people. So, I'm going to guess, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to postulate right now and say, party has nothing to eat? Yeah, that's not good. They're going to get upset very quickly. Yup, gotcha. Not afraid of me? That's fine. 
Thank you, Boyar Rubin. Total experience gained. We're going to gain some more experience and renown from this battle. And then we're going to head off to the blessed capital, Wurcheg. No, Ribacheg. Because we need food. We also need to sell our wares. So, one of the, This is one of those situations where when you capture prisoners from um, people like these guys, the Swedian man-at-arms, it would be nice if I had... Um, what is it called? If I oh, one swing and they're dead. It would be nice if I had room in my party for these guys, but I don't. Another thing you'll 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 find very interesting is that I I run straight at the archers, and there's a reason that I do this. I do this because archers are by far the most. They are the antithesis to um, footmen. And they, they are the antithesis to... Ooh, Francis is on foot. We gotta fix that one. And then they're also the antithesis to... Oh, Francis got knocked out. That's not good. They're the antithesis to horsemen. So if the horsemen can run up... Run up and stop the archers from notching their bows... It saves a lot of men from becoming casualties. Um, recruit? Footmen. Yeah. Militia? Footmen. Yeah. Footmen? Veteran. Yeah. So, all the veterans, horseback, footmen, feet. So, the faster I can get these Vigar or Swedian footmen to Swedian man-at-arms, the better. And from Swedian man-at-arms to Swedian knights. That's the goal. Let's take these really crappy boots, this really crappy sword, and that really crappy spear, and our 42 dinar. And let's get to Rivacek. Also... I just got more XP, but no one can be... Okay, so I'm not going to upgrade myself or Lee's Elite. I want to upgrade Lee's Elite's teaching prowess, but I can't do that until I upgrade his intelligence. Let me show you. And I gave him all the armor, so it's pretty good. I want to upgrade Lee's Elite's training. But in order to do that, I need to upgrade his intelligence. So right now, he has two points that are not being used. And I'm not going to... I should give him two power draw, actually. Yeah. You want to know why? I'll tell you why. Because then I can give him... Oh, no! I gave away the bow that I could have given him. But that's fine. That means that I'll give him bows so he can use them. And I'll take away his fighting axe. That's fine. Alright, never mind. Done. Um, I'm also not going to upgrade myself because I want to upgrade my charisma. so that I, The attribute of charisma so I can upgrade my skill of leadership. Let's go to the marketplace and let's get some food on the go. Also, let's see. The, oh, that's not bad. That price isn't that bad. Everything else is pretty crappy in price. That's fine. Let's get all this stuff on the go because we need food and we need food right now. Grain on the go. Fishies on the go. We will also take bread. No, we won't take bread. Wowzers, grain is expensive. It is not that expensive at Durham. As a matter of fact, I think we might be going that direction. Oh, that's not good. They're running from me? Yep, they are. Well, we're going to go to, to shape shit. And I, I don't mean to say it that way, but that's, that's how it looks to me. So we're going to go over here. And we are going to see what there is to see over in this direction. Sorry, my allergies are getting to me. I don't mean to dig up my nose while I'm on the stream. But, um... That was a big stack, by the way. 20 bandits? I wonder where you're off to. You're gonna run up that hill, and I'm gonna run away. Sorry, guys. My allergies are kicking my butt. Something fierce. Now, I could attack the bandit's lair, but then I would have to go find a new bandit's lair, and grinding on bandits is kind of... What gets us up where we need to be? Ah, 28. Now that, that is a group of bandits that I would much, I would be obliged to intercept. As a matter of fact, that <laughs> the Vigar caravan just ran, just, just walked past them as if they were nothing. All right, this might be in vain, but if somebody else comes from that direction, we'll be able to get them. Oh, gotcha. 
Let's grind on these guys and get where we gotta go. What do I want? I want you to die. And I want all your money. Let's make it happen. So, Battle Advances 3, renowned for this battle, is a 3. Let's see if we can make it happen. I love going to battle. I'm going to tell you right now, the battle mechanics for this game are really cool. They're almost as cool... No, I think that it rivals uh, Rome, um, Total Empire, um, Total War... Ah, am I saying this right? The Total, Total, Imp Total War Games. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Let me enjoy the battle. Oh, these Viker Knights. Look at this. Far superior. Come closer. Let my axe taste your blood. It shall be done. Scruff McCrufferton takes somebody down. Yet again. Oh, I am taking a lot of, a lot of health. Let's run towards the archers then. Once again, you run at the archers, and don't let them take your men out. Oh, wrong side. Oh, by the way, I do have women uh, fighting in my army. It just so happened that I needed them. Yep, one swing, and it's over. Yep. Um, I had to take them up. I needed men. I couldn't find them, so women were the next best thing. Oh, I thought I just took somebody's head off with that one. But I did not. Somebody's running away. It shall not happen. Vigar horsemen, Vigar knights. We're just taking them to task. Ah, that's it. Nope, that's not. I thought I heard him cheering. Yes, is that it? Nope, somebody's trying to get away. Get him. Get him. It's blood in the water. The sharks can smell it. The archers are on the case. Oh, they faded off into the distance. Yes. All right, cool. So if the bandits, sea raiders, or enemy run out too far, they can actually escape the battle. With that being said, two wounded, two routed, 24 killed. We'll take the two wounded. We're going to go sell them to the... Thank you very much. We're going to go sell them to the... Oh dear, what am I trying to say? To the ransom broker. Okay. We're going to say done. We're going to take your, your stuff, because I don't think you're going to need this anymore. Just just thinking just thinking out loud right now. Don't think you're going to need these anymore. Not totally sure you're going to need that anymore. Alright. 181 dinar for our troubles. I like it. Routed enemies, how fast can you run? Oh, you can run pretty darn fast. Well then, we're going to ignore you. Or are we? Yeah, we're going to go to Kura. See if they have any food there that we can uh, take along with us. We're going to upgrade our footmen to men-at-arms. Upgrade these footmen to veterans. Men-at-arms, welcome to the Swadian Knight uh, <laughs> Club. Club. So, so 1980s. i got to think of something better. Welcome to the Swadian Knight Brigade. Ah, more soldiers for the upgrading. Footmen, veterans. Feels good, man. It really feels good. After being routed a couple times, three times to be exact, I, I just... You feel some kind of way about it, you know? It doesn't feel good. But now that we have the troops and the men that we need, it's it's all coming up Millhouse, you know? Alright, to the marketplace. Let's look at our goods. And we are not doing too too poorly. Let's go ahead and buy that fish. It's not that expensive. And let's sell everything. Let's just sell every damn thing we have. $4,600. They're doing good over here. Yep. How do you like me now? Assess the local prices. Now, I did research the ability to, to assess local prices through trade. Iron in Kudan. Okay. So, I'm not sure, but I think Kudan... Hold on, let's check. Where is Kudan? I believe it is in the kingdom of the Serenid Sultanate. I'm wrong. That means that Kudan... Oh, that that is beautiful. In the same kingdom as the Vigars, which means... 
How much iron? Oh, yeah, we're doing it. This is gonna work out to our advantage. All right, let's check to see if anything else is gonna is of of any good anywhere else. Assess the local prices. This is how I'm gonna make. This is how I made a lot of money to begin with. You assess the local prices, you buy the goods, and then you sell them somewhere else. So tools and shadis. There's a lot of tools here. So let's go ahead and buy up at least four of them. Ah, just too much money. Let's... I really don't want to sell this bow. I really don't want to sell this bow. So let's not do that. Let's put you back. Lost some dinar, but that's fine. The week's not even close to being up. Let's go ahead and make it to Kudan. Now, I'm going to go to Kudan. I'm going to sell the iron that we just purchased at 79, 80, and 81. As I was purchasing the... As I was purchasing the goods, you can see that the price was going up because the supply was going down. The uh, mechanics for supply and demand in this game are actually not that bad. They're not the greatest, but they're pretty good. So what you'll do is you upgrade your ability to research. You know, what, what you do is kind of sneak around in the marketplace to see what the prices are in other places. You buy up all the goods there and you go to the other place and you sell them at a premium. And then you at that place, you see what's, you know... The goods that are made there but not really made anywhere else and then you sell them in other places so we're gonna sell the iron here we're gonna make our profit probably like two hundred dollars per iron so we're gonna make back somewhere around seven hundred and eight hundred dinar we're gonna take that eight hundred dinar and we're gonna run off oh no they said i need sultanate our rating karindi yeah we're not doing that we're gonna go the long way around because i don't want anything to do with that yeah, bandits. I couldn't dissuade them. Let's come here. Deserters, will you turn around? You will not. We will catch. Ah, oh, we won't catch you. That stinks. All right. Well, let's go to the marketplace. Let's sell our wares. Iron. Notice 282. Now this one's 269. The price comes down exponentially as you either put stuff into the market or the price goes up exponentially when you remove stuff from the market let's sell that and now we've made a profit we have more money than we had before because we started off with 1096 dinar now we have all this stuff to sell off so let's go ahead and assess the local prices let's see what's in kudan which could be anywhere else furs and barrier you know what that's not a bad idea barrier is where well how much furs are there how many furs do you have that's not bad 246 and body a i believe is a is it halfway across the earth is it it is man that is not that doesn't seem very prudent that trek will be more expensive than than the 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 the, the cost far outweighs the benefit let's see if we can catch the no we can't all right good we'll come back here and we will go to the marketplace what was our food looking like wow the bread's almost gone the grain's almost gone all right so let's go ahead and sell the bread off let's get some diverse foods yeah yeah and then the tools needed to go to where i forgot already the tools need to go to nothing is striking me as something that I remember was it Kudan as well hmm that was my alarm Ichu Ichimar Halmar Dorkba Amarad maybe it was Barrier either way we're not going to go all the way to Barrier as it stands let's Go to the marketplace. We purchased these tools at 200 and some odd dollars a pop. We're going to sell them at 325 mean average. Make our 900 dinar back. Go to the marketplace and we are going to assess the local prices. Because we need the money right now. Before we go siege anything, the money needs to stay nice and high. Shadis, too far across the earth. Not going to go all the way to Shadis. Let's go. So, we ran into an issue where we sold our wares at Rebadin and then tried to assess the local prices in Rebadin to put them anywhere else, realizing that Rebadin is a 
in node so selling stuff there is just it's not it's not worth it either way let's go ahead and end it here and in the next episode we're gonna work on trying to get that castle and i'll show you rindy we'll go march past rindy so you can see um so you can see really why it's prime for the taking it's been fun and as i see in every episode happy gaming ciao